Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Hayabusa T3 lace-up boxing gloves. So check it out. All right, guys, so today I'm doing a close-up weigh-in and review on the Hayabusa T3 lace-up boxing gloves. I got mine in 16 ounces, and you can see that the biggest difference between this and their standard, uh, most popular model, the T3 Velcro, is going to be the closure system. So they use this offset lace-up system um, that you're starting to see more frequently with these overlapping, uh, the wrist support that overlaps with the offset, and a lot of companies are doing it to where they have it it closer up towards the thumb so that you get a much more snug and pulled in fit when you tighten these down. Most recently I did the, the Power Lock 2 lace-up reviews and you can see some similarities there uh, with that. So, um, you know, the big question is, are these better than the Velcro version? The, uh, I believe they call it dual X wrist closure. Um, I'll explain that to you guys here in a second on my thoughts on that. Uh, but this only comes in this all black um, colorway. Obviously, it does have the white accents and uh, uses their uh, microfiber synthetic leather material that has kind of a greeny uh, matte feel to it. You have the Hayabusa logo that is embossed in there. Um, you also have that angled design with sort of that faux carbon fiber and patent leather right there. Um, give you guys some close-ups of the stitching. These gloves are manufactured in China. Uh, you have the suede thumb that is uh, good for wicking away sweat off your forehead and your face. I actually find it very useful because uh, I sweat a ton, so it's it's nice to have that. Uh, just make sure you clean it and you, you kind of leave it out to dry, otherwise it's going to get funky. Uh, Hayabusa on the back of the wrist. And you also have the channel right here. And the back of the wrist has about an inch of uh, pretty firm density padding, so uh, you get that good wrist support. Uh, flipping it over here, you have 16 ounces again, it says Tokushu, same material. You also have that, again, more of the little carbon fiber. Um, the inside wrist, I'd say about in maybe a quarter of an inch. And then they have their um, their smooth kind of tricot liner. They have a special name for it. I think it's called like SBT liner or something like that. Uh, the gloves are manufactured in China. You have their tag right there. Designed in the USA, made in China. Um, here's a lace-up system. One thing I like about the lace-up is that instead of it being holes on this side, I mean, you have holes right here, which is standard, but um, you have the, the little loops that the laces go through. So that makes it so much easier to lace up than having holes on both sides. And then you have this extra one up here to kind of help pull this over and kind of keep it close to the thumb. Uh, more of that patent faux leather material, ventilated holes everywhere it's probably the most ventilated hold glove you'll ever see you can see they're literally everywhere uh hayabusa on the finger compartment um grip bar is pretty nice and pretty nice art you know large size there and you have an attached thumb as well so let's go ahead and put these on the scale see how much these weigh starting off with the right glove i'm gonna throw the laces on top my scale is off today let me go ahead and reset that all right, let's try that again. At least make sure it's zeroed out. All right, there we go. So the right glove is at 15 and a half ounces, so pretty close to 16, about half, half ounce off. And the left glove is 15 and a half. So they're exactly on weight and just about a, a half ounce underweight. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'm doing a review on the Hayabusa T3 lace-up boxing gloves. I got mine in 16 ounces, and it comes in this all-black colorway. Um, I wish they did have other colors to choose from. Maybe in the future, Hayabusa will come out with other colorways like they do for their Velcro version, which is probably by far their most popular glove. Uh, sizes you can get anywhere between 10 to 16 ounces, so you have several sizes to choose from. Now, I've been wanting to get my hands on these gloves for a while now because I've uh, used several of the Hayabusa T3 gloves in the past. Uh, with the dual, ex dual wrist exclosure, hopefully I got that right, system, which is 
uh, what they're really known for is that dual Velcro strap system that they use. Um, and I wanted to see if the lace-ups uh, were as good or if not better in terms of wrist support than those. And to be honest with you, I still feel that the Velcro versions are more supportive uh, than the lace-ups, which is really rare. Most of the time, lace-up gloves typically they give you more of a kind of a custom form-fitted feel over traditional Velcro gloves. Uh, but in this case with the T3s, I still feel that the Dual X uh, wrist closure system is better. Um, I know that they have attempted to really uh, kind of advance the protection and support of their lace-up version of having this offset wrist. Uh, but there's a couple of things I want to mention here in terms of the design of this and the fact that I feel that even though you have this offset wrist, I feel that the wrist opening with the pat, even with the padding, is a little bit on the larger side. So it's a little, a little bit too squared off. And what that does is that even with this lace tied all the way down, I still felt there was a little bit of wiggle room inside there. So once I put this on, you guys can see what I'm talking about. But you can see that design of the glove is identical pretty much to their, their Velcro versions. The only difference is going to be this lower half portion where uh, the wrist support is at. And obviously the inside right here is going to be different because of the lace-up system. Uh, these gloves are manufactured in China. It utilizes a synthetic uh, microfiber leather um, that has a nice texture and green to it. has more of a matte finish. You have the Hayabusa logo on the back, that patent leather material, the carbon fiber, the suede for the thumb, which is good for those of you that swipe your butt off like I do. So you have that suede right there. You have that angled wrist with the, uh, the little section right here, the channel, that gives it some flexibility and also allows the laces to sit in that channel. It says Hayabusa, that's embossed. Uh, one nice thing I like about this, this glove and what Hayabusa does is they don't use any like just cheap printed on. They actually use like an embossed logo. Same thing with the one that it says Hayabusa. So that's just a nice little extra touch there. Now rolling over to the palm side, get more of that faux carbon fiber, Tokushu, 16 ounces. Um, you have the offset lace-up system with the laces starting right here. And that, that the whole premise of that is to kind of pull everything together, including the lower section of the thumb, the offset laces. You also have these open loops. And instead of just the holes, which are on this side, on the outer edge, you have the loops that the laces go through. So it makes it a little easier and more convenient to put them on. You can see that it has a big overlap in terms of the wrist closure right there. And you also have uh, Hayabusa's own liner, which is kind of like a smooth uh, microfiber liner. It doesn't bunch up and is really comfortable. Ventilated holes everywhere on the thumb and the palm. Nice large grip bar. Attached thumb that doesn't expose the thumb. And you also have Hayabusa on the finger compartment. And show you guys again more of the palm side right there. Quality of gloves are really good, except for some of the stitching. I, I noticed that some of the stitching and it's, to me, it's a little bit more of the aesthetic and the look of the glove, especially on the back. You'll start seeing some of the stitching on both gloves are kind of coming off right there. Same right here. Um, there's another one that's kind of popping out. So little stitches every, you know, here and there. That's kind of the only issue I really found. The suede is held up really nicely. It utilizes a multi-layer foam padding. It's definitely more on the firm side, so there's definitely some break-in with the foam. Um, but you can see the patent leather looks good, or should I say the, the, the faux patent leather, the carbon fiber looks clean, the stitching patterns look really good, the reinforcement on the inner thumb looks clean, that all looks good, grip, the grip bar is done nicely, the outer edges looks good. Um, it was only a half ounce underweight and both gloves were exactly on weight with each other which is great. You can see it's well balanced so the distribution of padding and foam is done nicely. The liner on the inside is done very well. So here is the stitching. See the stitching? It's a little off. I mean, not by much. You can see it kind of rises up a little right there. Again, we're just being nitpicky, right? You know, stitching on the inside of the wrist looks pretty good. All on the back. So overall, really good. I mean, it, everything looks really solid, minus some of the stitching on the cosmetic parts, like right here on the back and on the side right there. So. Um, that's pretty much the only areas I saw any kind of flaws. Comfort of the gloves, very comfortable. Sliding your hand in here. Um, the liner feels great. I do like the liner a lot. I feel that it doesn't bunch up. It feels really smooth and cool. The thumb position is perfect. 
nice parallel thumb. doesn't jam even when I close my, 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 my fist and make a fist. A lot of times the thumb attachment is not in the right height with the glove or the, the finger compartment. So when you make a fist, it actually will pull down on the thumb. Uh, too much for some gloves, but this glove it does a nice job of you know, kind of pulling it in to prevent you from gouging somebody in the eye, but not to the point where it actually jams against your thumb. Nice deep finger compartment with some of that same liner material that's kind of bunched up right there at the fingers. Almost makes, feels like a, almost like a memory foam type deal. Uh, the foam around the hand on the inside feels great as well and nice and deep. It doesn't feel too wide. It doesn't feel narrow like my, my fingers are going to collapse on each other. Um, and it's definitely a little bit on the stiffer side in terms of being able to open and close my hand. So it's going to take time to really kind of break in um, this synthetic material as well as the multi-layer foam on the inside of the glove. But other than that, very comfortable, no pressure points, no issues there. Now, protection and performance is the big thing with this. So the wrist support feels good, don't get me wrong. And when I lace it up and I had this all tightened down, it felt good, but I still felt that compared to the Velcro dual wrist X closure system they have on their, their traditional Velcro glove, I don't feel like this wraps in and makes it as supportive and tight as a Velcro version. And I think that that inner Velcro that you do before you put the outer Velcro on, is what really makes a huge difference. And, and I like the, I mean, I commend them for doing this system and making it better. It's definitely better than a traditional uh, lace-up system that goes down the middle. So I like that and it's easier to tighten down, but I don't think it's better than their Velcro version of these gloves. Um, and I feel like the wrist is a little bit on the larger side, so maybe they can offset that with a little bit more padding on the front section of the glove to really lock uh, your wrist in. So that's my thoughts on that. The glove is definitely more on the protective side. I do love the foam that they use in here. You get a good amount of feedback. Um, the only drawback I would say is that it's kind of a bouncy type of foam. And I've actually mentioned that in other videos before with the T3s is that it has a little bit more of a bounce because of just the way the foam is utilized in the layers that it's in inside the, finger, the hand compartment. So when you land, you know you land, but it just has a little bit more of a bouncy feel. It's really hard to describe unless you've used these gloves, uh, which I'm not a big fan of. I like gloves that when you make it land, it just feels like you get more of a, uh, that nice crisp landing shot, and uh, you don't feel like it just kind of bounces off the striking surface of whatever you're hitting. Um, but definitely more on the protective side, if you're looking at something that's a little bit more shock absorbent, that's not a puncher's glove, uh, then this would be it for you. Uh, Cost-wise, these gloves are $149, uh, which I think um, is probably right where it needs to be at in terms of pricing. Um, you know, with the laces, the quality is pretty good, minus some of the stitching. It is a synthetic glove. Um, but at $149, I would still go with the Velcro version. So if you're looking for something that you want a lot of wrist support, um, and is the same exact glove as this one, just get the Velcro version. I like the lace-ups, don't get me wrong. Um, unless you're really hung up on getting a lace-up glove and you like the look of the lace-up glove, then go for it. I mean, it's the same price as their Velcro, but to be honest with you, I'd go with the Velcro still. Uh, just because the wrist support feels better, in my opinion, it's more supportive, and uh, you get more colors to choose from. There's a lot more variety when it comes to that instead of just all black, for those of you that are, are, from, you know, are really stuck on the aesthetics and the look of the glove, and that's just my opinion. So $149 for these gloves, get the Velcro version. That's my thoughts on that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these T3 lace-up boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.